Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, uh, over the course of our lifetime, there are millions of things that we experience. Some of which we remember very clearly, uh, vividly, like they were yesterday. But most of our, most of those experiences we don't remember at all or only have a vague, fuzzy memory of. Uh, for example, a few days ago, I ran some errands. Got my car greased and oiled, uh, did a little shopping, and drove home. And I remember very little of that. Uh, I don't remember the drive home at all, uh, because it was pretty routine. I do it a lot, and uh, nothing special happened. And what happens is, is that for things that are routine or that uh, don't have that much impact on our lives, don't have an emotional impact or physical impact, we tend to have very, very little memory of them. The, the mind filters those things out and says, uh, nah, we don't really need that. But those memories are there. They're physically imprinted in the brain because uh, because of the chemical changes and the physical changes that have happened. Those memories are there. How do I know this? Well, for two reasons. First of all, people can be hypnotized to, to uh, get at memories that they don't have uh, uh, access to in a conscious waking state. And also because there are people who have eidetic memories people who remember everything. And even though this is, a, I think, a cool thing and a great gift, uh, which can be very valuable to a person, although I imagine that there are disadvantages to it at all. I haven't spoken to anybody with uh, an eidetic memory, so I can't say for sure. Uh, but it would appear to indicate that all the memories are there. Somehow, people with eidetic memories actually lack the filter that sorts things out. So they have access to everything. So the question is, why not hypnotize people and just as they can be, uh, be allowed to remember things that they couldn't under hypnosis, why not block under hypnosis unpleasant and, or perhaps traumatic memories that are bothersome to a person? Well, the reason for that is, and the reason why no therapist would ever do that, is because it would actually do more harm than good. Uh, all that you would be doing is making that memory inaccessible. The memory would still be physically present in the brain. And it would uh, probably uh, create uh, more problems if it was blocked. Because not only is the memory physically there, but there are all kinds of behavioral patterns and emotional patterns that spring from that tr trauma or unpleasant memory uh, that are present in our lifetime. Blocking that memory would not change that. It would just mean it would make no sense to the person that is undergoing it because they would have no memory of what caused it. When therapists, as a matter of fact, uh, work with people who have had trauma or are abused and stuff, uh, abused as a child or, or things like that, what they do is they try to help people access those memories if they're blocked. Very often traumatic memories, especially of child abuse, are blocked. So the therapist will try to help the person remember. And this helps them to make sense of their emotional and behavioral patterns. 
So blocking bad memories is not is not helpful, whether you do it consciously or unconsciously. It's not helpful. You have to face your memories. So uh, what is the point of this video that I'm making? <laughs> I don't remember. Thanks for listening.